Although photography was invented in 1839 by a guy named Daguerre, you really don't have photography coming of age until the 1850s and 1860s, where a new process, wet plate photography, allowed photographers to make multiple prints from the same photographic negative, in that case, glass plate negative. Documentary photography, in my opinion, was born in 1862 on the Virginia Peninsula, where photographers started capturing fresh battlefield graves, and then eventually dead horses on a battlefield. And then in September of 1862 in Maryland, at the Battle of Antietam or Sharpsburg, fresh corpses on a battlefield. Union photographer Alexander Gardner, working for Matthew Brady, secured 20 photos of dead soldiers on that battlefield. It shocked the nation. It was very difficult to get to a battlefield before the dead were actually buried, and it was a feat only accomplished at six other places. And to be specific about it, at Corinth, Mississippi, where three more photos were taken. Then at Fredericksburg, where one more photo was taken in the Chancellorsville campaign. At Gettysburg, 37 more photos of dead soldiers on battlefields. Then six at Spotsylvania, 22 at Petersburg, for a total of exactly Exactly 97 photos taken at those very places during the Civil War. Documentary photographers are moving with the troops. They're embedded with the troops, to use the modern terminology. More than 10,000 documentary outdoor images were taken of battlefields, as well as probably millions of portraits inside studios of American photographers. It's important to know that most of these photographers are northern photographers. The South was quickly deprived of photochemicals, and they weren't going to use and run the blockade just to take photographs. So most of the southerners who had uh, photographic chemicals are going to use them on the more lucrative portraiture trade. So northern photographers are left to be the photojournalists of the Civil War. These are mostly northern victories to which the Union photographers had access. Sometimes they recorded the dead on the battlefield, but also general carnage with trees and buildings um, disrupted at the time. Sometimes People in the town were very interesting, and the most photographed places ended up being Washington, D.C., Richmond, Virginia, after it fell, Port Hudson, Louisiana, Petersburg, Virginia, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and a few others along the way, including Charleston.